A number of elected officials from around New York State have decided to come together today to shine some light on the need for greatly increased infrastructure funding in this country and to shine a light on H.R. 3339. And as I've said many times, we need a $5 trillion investment in our infrastructure. Thinking small has resulted in the infrastructure crisis which are gripping our nation. A bipartisan infrastructure bill, whether or not we have further legislation, the National Infrastructure Bank concept is something that's brilliant and makes perfect sense because this is something that provides for a sustained and long-term solution. It's very important that we continue to support HR 3339 in Congress and Congressman Davis, uh, to, who has been a, a real champion to ensure that uh, uh, more members of Congress continue to break rank from the traditional uh, mechanisms of politics that continue to be played out in Washington. Albany is one of the first early uh, capitals uh, of the country. Uh, in terms of infrastructure, and our needs are great. But New York State also uh, has pipes that go back to over 100 years that, as uh, Assemblyman Ortiz pointed out, is beyond the capacity of our present structure to handle. Lead in our drinking uh, water is a crisis of health and education. These um, you know, effects of on a developing brain of lead are irreversible. And, you know, this is something that cities and towns, they need some overarching and, you know, directed infrastructure spending. At our national convention in San Diego last month, we passed a resolution to adopt H.R. 3339. Uh, and there was 3,600 members in attendance at that convention, and it was unanimously adopted. So I can't stress the importance of getting this bill passed, and now is the time. HR 3339 will bring good union-paying jobs. Um, I've been a labor leader with the Lakeland Federation of Teachers in uh, Westchester County for many, many years. And when you have good union-paying jobs um, in our country, building infrastructure, it's a win-win. So I see no reason why people are not able to live in Albany while they work in New York City. So if we are able to cut the, the travel distance down from two hours or two and a half hours for some to about 45 minutes or less than an hour, and I believe in National Infrastructure Bank. Um, when I think of this bill, I think of jobs, jobs, jobs. And if you have jobs for people in your community and they are performing jobs that are rebuilding their community, then you're gonna have a sustainable community for our children and our families. You know, I think it's really one of the most important things. It's one of the things we often overlook, um, or we don't think about, we take for granted, but because of that, we've been underfunding uh, our infrastructure needs for years nationally. And it's something that has now, you know, really caught up with us. And now we're in a drastic situation. Several decades of neglect and exploitation can only be rectified by an infrastructure program that is equal to the House Bill H.R. 3339. I was surprised uh, to learn from the remarks that Congressman Davis made that uh, I knew it went back at least until Franklin Roosevelt. What I didn't know was this concept of infrastructure banks go back even much further back to the early days, some of the early administrations of, of our country. So it's not a radical idea, it's a common sense idea. I am grateful to my Congressman Mondaire Jones for co-sponsoring the bill with Congressman Davis. And support is growing for this bill across the state. Uh, we have members of a number of local uh, city councils and county legislatures around the state on the call today. Um, last month, the New York State Association of Counties passed a resolution in support of the National Infrastructure Bank 